Hey guys, welcome back to another level 4 mission and we are doing it in a ELA. Let me just go to full screen. Okay. Looks like we're there. Okay, just tell you a little bit about the Gila. Uh, it's a very um, drone orientated ship because of its bonuses. So let's have a quick look at the uh, information on that. Uh, there you go. Can't enlarge it. Great. So there you go. You've got 10% uh, bonus. That's your kinetic and thermal missiles, which we are using. Um, light missiles rapid lights uh caldari cruiser bonus and then you've got your roll bonus which is amazing your drone 500 percent bonus to medium combat drone damage you want to see send you can only send out two uh simply because of your um your bandwidth you can only you, you can only send out two at a time, but at five hundred percent they do rip through the uh, the rats, <clears throat> and your two hundred and fifty percent bonus to your hit points, which makes them rock hard as well. So great little ship, great bonuses for its drones. Uh, I'll just fit this out to really how I sort of how I want it. Um, you do have to micromanage um, your uh, your repper, your uh, shielded booster, but it you know you got seven minutes twenty seven before you completely deplete your your um, your capacitor. But you you you're always keeping your eye on it. If you're a good pilot, you always keep your eye on it anyway. So you're on and off, on and off, and just micro micromanage it with your um, uh, afterburner. So on the top. I have uh, Caldari Navy Rapid Light Missile Launchers. So this ship is 1.9 billion in total. So I have spent a little bit on it, but it, you know, at the end of the day, this is going to earn you money. Day in, day out, you'll get it back. And that's how I look at it. So Caldari Navy Rapid Light Launchers with Caldari Navy Scourge or whatever you put on for the mission. Uh, Scourge is kinetic, but whatever it needs. On the tank, I've just gone with a, a uh, shield extender tank. So literally, there's no um, there's no um, resist, as in EM thermal. There is, but there's no additional tank. Yeah. So you've got you've got what you've got here. But if you're looking at it, you've got near enough 40,000 effective hit points. So this will manage, with, with those, this will manage bringing those down when you get the damage. But you still have to be on your toes. You still have to kill the lights. You know, the little, um, the little lights, the little scramming webbing gits. And, right, so that's, um, yeah, so I've got the three shield extenders that are there large shield extenders type tech two then i went and got the uh just the a type shield booster amplifier that is 41.25 percent shield boost bonus that really does help that's a just a type medium shield booster uh gives you 240 hp every rep every three seconds and then the afterburner is the just b type 10 MN afterburner. Money wise, yeah, they're going to cost you a little bit, but at the end of the day, that's like I said, uh, you're doing your missions, you will it, it will pay for itself. Then you've got the uh, damage control, which I've, I've got a few abyssal ones that I've uh, mutated, and this one is pretty good right across the board. Thermals are a little bit crap, but the rest are, they're all up, so. I thought I'd just put that on, it's better than a standard Tech 2, so... And then the Tech 2 drone amplifiers. 
I just went with those. And the rigs are just Tech 2, all three of them are Tech 2 medium core defense field Perger 2s. And they are a reach, they, they improve your recharge rate. Yeah. Which, uh, which helps, it all helps. Okay, so, drones wise, I've just got four of each. They're the explosive killers, and these are kinetic. Uh, you can get the augmented if you want, they're sort of split between, on these they're split between thermal and kinetic, but I'm not too fussed, I'll just use these two and see how it go. Um, I've already accepted a mission, and that's why we're in Ruvus, next door to uh, Omoka. Uh, and other than that, I've just got some ammo there. Uh, have I got enough? I think I have. Yeah, okay. So you've got a short range on these missiles, it's only 42 kilometers. But with this setup, you're up close and personal anyway. Uh, and then you so you're just managing your drones, managing your, your missiles. So obviously the first thing you want to hit are the little ones. Just to get them out of the way at least. And if you do run into trouble, you forget you've got, you know, your cap's going down and you forget you can, at least you can warp off. Nothing's going to hold you down. You won't lose two billion worth of ship. Right. Without further ado... Let's undock and let's go to the uh, to the mission. Okay. So everything's loaded up. Let's go to the mission. And you can see it there. So if you looked in space, you'd see it anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, it's the first gate. So let's uh, let's warp in. I'll turn my volume down a bit, guys, because I'm still hitting red. Blimey. I thought I'd adjusted that. Anyway. I hope it's not too loud for you. Drive I turned that down as well on the system. You'll have to excuse me. I am bunged up this today. I always get... I mean, I always sound nasally anyway, but more so today. So there's the two lights. I'll probably just orbit, orbit the gate at 1,000. So there's the lights. Let's get the drones. Let's, well, we've got most of the aggro, so I'm quite happy to drop the boat drones and send those to the lights. And we will lock up these. The towers first. And we'll uh, send the missiles to them. I'm going to put the uh, booster on. Get the drone on the second light. Right, so you know they're taken care of now. Obviously watch your respawns, because you do have lights uh, respawning with a few more ships. So again, you'll need to take them out. Just keep on top of everything. Keep your eye on your booster. Keep your eye on your shield. It's not too bad, I might turn it off right now. Keep me, uh, I'm, in fact I'm going to turn my afterburner off because I'm only orbiting the gate. Let's lock another one up. You do run out of missiles very quickly guys. So uh, be prepared. Let's get the drones on. On that one. In fact I'm going to get the drones. No, I'll leave them on the, the towers really do inflict um, a little bit of damage so I'll get rid of him. 
they don't live long, so get rid of them. Just going to turn the volume down for the game as well, that seems to be loud. Sorry guys, crazy. I don't know why all my volumes have gone up all of a sudden. Okay. There'll be another spawn in a minute. In fact, I'd better send those to the... Uh, to the uh, sentry guns. <laughs> Doesn't look like it could hurt, but it does. And he's finished off. Okay, last one now. I'm going to save the missiles, I'll just let the drones kill it. Should be another spawn before we uh, go through the gate. So be ready to pull in your drones if they're getting any aggro. We'll just keep orbiting. Okay, I'm going to pull them back in orbit. See what happens. Okay, we're going to warp. Oh. Warp drive active. Seriously, drones. Right. I thought there was another spawn warp before you walked, you went through the acceleration gate, but obviously not. Right, let's go to the next one. So we're going to burn out towards them. In fact, I'm going to use that as an anchor to orbit. So we're going to burn out. Again, light ones. There's only one light. Could probably lock them all. Get the aggro on the ship. In fact, I'll just launch them. Even if they get aggro, they're pretty tough. I'll take... I'll take the little one out with the with the lights. Okay. Love the drones. Really do deal some damage. Liner. Good stuff. I'll put the drones on the big bird. Here we go. We've got two lights just spawned in. Gonna get the drones on them instead. I mean, you've got a tank on your shield here that's pretty good. Um, you know, it's not going to go instant. They're not going to alpha, alpha, alpha the ship. So just, just keep your eye on. Just keep micromanaging that booster if you need to. I'm going to put the uh, missiles on the big boy. on these another little one spawned with a another group of uh, battleships put the drones on the little one I'll keep on him has run out of charges. so your missiles run out very quickly which is damned annoying right because these are just spawned I might just put the uh, booster on for a bit and see see where we are all right let's get the drones on the big boy
takes forever for these missiles to uh, reload. Okay. DPS isn't too bad on these lights, these rapid lights. So we've got quite a few spawned. Let's lock up a few. We've got rid of the lights so you don't need to worry about being scrammed or webbed. I mean, that's the main thing. If you're, uh, you know, if, if you're not sure, you can, you can sort of perma tank. This isn't quite a perma tank, but it's pretty close to it. You know, you, just, you still have to micromanage. But um, it's easily manageable. Let's put it that way. Okay, he's about to go and he's gone. Boom. See you later, big boy. I'll put them on this scorpion. Gilly just gone pop. It's gonna boost a little bit. The next room's a bit tougher to be honest. And you do have to really uh, keep on the ball. Just gonna reload, I'll take the uh, other gear out. This mission is Garista's Extravaganza. 8,000 loyalty points, which is not too bad. It's not to be sniffed at. It's not um, a nomic team like 13,000, but hmm. it'll do. You're in Empire. Better in Nullsec, of course, but hey. I'll get these on the. There you go. Do like the look of the ship. Always like the Gila. Bye bye, big boy. slowly make my way back to the gate turn off the the burner let the drones do the stuff got another spawn <laughs> I said that on the last game I think we might have another spawn before we go through but anyway we will see Our module has run out of charges. I'm going to turn the booster off you do have a reminder when you get low on cap anyway uh, an audible reminder but You've always got to keep looking, keep micromanaging everything. Uh, I had the afterburner on, so that was using quite a bit as well. So uh, have the two on, and it really does bring your cap down quickly. Right, let's. Oh, this tail's been reloaded. Put the drones on that one, I think. Start boosting again. 
Yeah, I think the next room's going to get a bit sticky. It's going to be a bit heavier. <coughs> I mean, if I did it in the Tengu, I'd absolutely... It'd be like a walking apart for the Tengu. But I thought I'd try this, uh, try the Gila. I've not actually done them um, since I came out. Uh, I used to live in Nullsec all the time, but uh, since I come back to Empire, I've not used the Gila at all, really. I used to use it um, when I was ratting out in Nullsec for the... I'd bring it out for the officer spawns, so I'd have the Gila and I'd have an eater in the Tengu and I'd have to sort of play, sort of tag, tag team with the officer, with Fozzie and Anita. So one would come in, start hitting and we'd chase them, the other would come in and hit them with missiles, and then vice versa, and you'd be constantly jumping in, warping out when it gets too close, because my god, those officers are going to hurt. <laughs> but um, I was, at the last count, I was on my 23rd officer kill, just before I left Nullsec. So it's, it's well worth it. Well worth it out there, guys. I mean, you've got to be in an alliance. I was in the... Uh, I don't know if I want to tell you. I was in the Imperium. I was with the Initiative. Uh, so we were goon um, allies. We never used to be. I remember when we... I remember when we allied with goons and... Uh, you should have heard the comms chat when we were told. My God, people left the alliance. That was funny. But we had a good relationship with them. We've, we've left them on good terms. I mean, I've left the alliance right now. I might go back when I've got time. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> we had some good wars, some great wars. I've been playing this game, what, since 2005? So I've got Anita in this Gila. She's got 130 million skill points. And then Fozzie's got, who's my main, he's got 180 million skill points. And uh, I've got a few more rolls, really just minors. Who can, like, do mining in the hulks with a docker as booster and stuff like that right so we should get I'm sure we get another spawn guys I'm sure we do god it's all full of gold okay The last time I did this mission, I had a spawn, certainly in the second room. <laughs> I had a second spawn. Okay, we're going in. what we've got. Of course the uh, obligatory uh, sentry guns will go straight for them I think. Shall we turn my booster off? And I should have reloaded that but hey, there you go. Right, I'll get these two out. Using Vespers because <coughs> they're kinetic. <coughs> Excuse me guys. I'm using the Kinetic uh, Vespers, Kaldari Navy Vespers, they're pretty tough. I used to, I've used those all the time. And they're just such good drones, they've never let me down. I'll get to these... Uh, these sentry guns. Well, there you go, another spawn. Two more lights have come in. I'll get the drones on those two. Right, let's get some rockets. 
got some missiles on these. No, on these. <laughs> Dear me. Need to rep. Right, I'm going to get my transversal up. Because I am kind of going in the straight line. Got to get your transversal, guys. Uh, just for that... Um, Lowers the DPS slightly from them. I was going in a straight line away from those on the left. Uh, therefore, they were getting kind of maximum DPS. As long as the lights, you've killed the lights. Oh, there's another one there. Let's get that light killed. You can always warp out if it's too much, if your shield's getting hit. You can always warp out then. I'm just going to finish these batteries off. And work my way through these. In fact, go for those. Got some DPS coming. I can overload this for one. We'll see. A module has run out of charges. All right, when that reloads, I'll put it on that last one. See, I was wept by him, not anymore. At least he didn't scram. I'm getting jammed by the pith eliminator. Let's get him on him. Need to align and get out. I need to overload this. Get some wrapping done. Call the drones back and get out. Drive and there we go. <laughs> With my bum on fire, I've done that a few times. <laughs> That's one thing they got rid of, the, uh, the flames. Let's get off. You used to have flames coming out your bum. <laughs> that used to be funny. You'd stop and there'd just be just flames coming off your bum. Docking permission requested. Docking request so, accepted. Yeah, that was getting pretty intense, that one. I'll just wrap up. Okay, and we'll go back out. We might have to try and get some distance. <coughs> We've got rid of the sentry guns, but... Uh, where's the mission? The mission space. There it is. Drive active. At least I managed to get the drones back as well. So if I'd been in the Tengu, I would, it would, there really wouldn't have been any effort in it. <clears throat> it's too easy in the Tengu. She's tanked up and it's just amazing. I mean, you could change tank on this, have it as a passive. Um, drive. Could do that. In fact, I might have a look at that later on. Not a big fan of just doing a, you know, a, just shield extenders. But I thought I'd try it. It's a fit I've had for quite a long time and never used. Warp drive active. So we'll probably get to range. I think I'm right. the drones are ranging at 60 kilometers, so I can't be too far away. Warp drive active. I'll just have to weed out some of the big guns first.
Right, so we'll burn away. We'll get some of the big ones done. Now the drones might be taking some uh, some hammer. Oh no, not dropped them yet. <laughs> there we go. Right, get rid of that light. Even though it's um, it's only a, a webby. Get some transversal. Get that booster on now. Try and keep on top of it. Right, he's gone. I'll send him to that one. So I'll just keep an eye on my range. 60 kilometers with the drones. So again, keeping my transversal up. I'm going to knock that, just save on the cap. all these big boys out once you break that the DPS <clears throat> might get rid say four get four or five of these gone uh, I'll I'll be pretty good with them um, with the boosting the repping <clears throat> just to get rid of those it just they just they are just uh, getting over your tank <laughs> but once you break that and bring it down then you're okay But I do. I spoil myself over the years, and just I just use the Tengu. But for this purpose, uh, I've used the Raven the other week. I used the Dominic's, the Navy, um, the Dominic's Navy issue. Uh, using uh, using Sentry drones. <coughs> I've got a few of those videos if you want to see those. Uh, but this one, I said I was going to do a Gila next. I've done a few in the Tengu as well put my fit on there as well. I'll put my fit for this uh, Gila on the, um, when I've ended this this live feed guys, I'll put my fit in on and uh, I'll let you have a look at that, play around with it. You, obviously you can see what it's doing so it's, you know, it's, it's certainly taking the hits and dealing with them. I mean the afterburner is great because you um, you're not really lit up like a, a Belisha beacon. <coughs> Your signature radius is pretty small compared to a micro watt drive. <coughs> you had a micro watt drive on, Christ, it'd be, you'd be lit up like a Belisha beacon, you really would. So we're working our way through these. I need to come back in range a little bit. They're 41, aren't they? 42. Okay, I can hit those two. I'll hit them. Leave those. Leave the drones on the big boys. So it's bringing us in, and I'm jammed. So the drones will have to do their work. I can, you can always lock the one that's jamming you, so you can kill him. I'll get the drones on him, and then of course it allows you to to lock everything else up. But they do switch between ships, uh, jamming. always worth trying to lock him because sometimes he'll lose his jam anyway which he has right, I'm going to knock off the uh, afterburner 
And when we've killed the jammer, we'll go back to effect. I'll put me missiles on that one. Transversal. Let's kill that. And let's kill that. Let's kill that last uh, missile battery because they really do. They do some damage. Check your drones as well, the health is good. Like I say, they are tough little, they're tough little nuts. Shield's good. We'll finish that one off with the drones. And we'll finish them off with my missiles. Not the drones, my missiles. No, we won't, it's too far. Let's do that. Just keep an eye on that, I'm going to stop boosting. Just need to keep an eye. You can see we've killed quite a few now. The DPS has dropped quite a lot. So now the booster can manage it every so often. Let's get the drones on, I don't know, leave them. Sells on him. Start boosting again. I'm gonna make my way to the gate now. Been over the gate 1000. Now we're bringing down DPS. More manageable now. A module has run out of charges. Yeah, I think. Um, I think a passive uh, Omni tank might do this better. I'll have a look at that. If you look now, look at the resists. Oh, kinetic and thermal. That's what's that's what's hitting us right now. It's it's not good. I mean, obviously, you could take these off. Put yourself on a multi-spectral and then two dedicated hardeners, one thermal, one kinetic. That'll push that up. Yeah, should be alright. I thought I'll put one of these on. Put that one on. I may as well. Can I use that one as well? No. They do help. Ah, there's a little webby. Little webby scumbag. See, they come out, they creep out. You keep your eye on these, but again, this the DPS is so much less than what it was. So they'll kill him in a minute. I mean, the drones haven't been touched. 
They do go for the drone sometimes, but they have not been touched, which I love. I thought about putting an armor repair on the uh, on a remote armor repairer, you know, to repair uh, the drones, but they're looking good. A module has run out of charges. I'll get the drones to finish them off. Let's boost it. Let's get my shields repaired. Not too fussed about speed. These die so easy. If I'm in the Tango, it's literally one volley. Just of, of the lot. And even then, I think it's too much. Get the drones on that one. One volley of four missiles, watch this. There you go, nearly wiped him out. Nearly insta-popped him. If there are any questions about this fit, guys, just um, feel free to comment. Uh, I'd like you to like and subscribe, if you will. Uh, that's entirely up to you guys, but would like that. I'm trying to build up a channel here. So I've only been going as a channel a couple of months, as a player on EVE since 2005, and I play Daisy as well, so you'll see quite a few of my videos for Daisy and I've been playing Daisy since it came out in 2013 was it 2013 my god it seems like eons ago I'm an old man I feel like it yeah Eve in 2005 was uh it was nearly a different game. So many things have changed. A module has run out of charges. I remember when <clears throat> the combat ship to have was the Vagabond. You wouldn't believe how fast that ship could go. I remember I was sniping in an APOC. We sniped a group on the as they came through a gate. And they were in some were in vagabonds, and I was 200 off the gate, and within seconds, this vagabond was doing about nine, ten thousand ms, and he literally hit me, and knocked me, and my ship was literally doing six thousand ms just from him hitting me. I couldn't go to warp; they dropped on us, uh, and they killed us, the whole fleet. <laughs> but it was fun. But my God. That Vaga, never forget that Vaga. But they nerfed it, and they nerfed it like they nerfed everything else. Dominixes, God. Nano Dominix, great ship. Yeah, they've. Uh, I think they've done it. I think they've done a good job over the years. You know, it has been out of balance, but they've rectified it, and I think they've got it. Fairly right, there are a few things that could do with being adjusted, but at the end of the day, it's down to the uh, everything's down to the dollar and a or the pound, as I should say, the English pound. <laughs> Orbiting the gate now, and I think all the spawns of uh, all the spawns have been done. Let me just see if I can. Can I get her back up? My agent. A module has run out of charges. Yeah. Oh, good. So that's the mission. And it is just prevent the group. Five rendezvous points. So I think we've got the, another one to go through yet. Yeah. 
I think I'll just leave it to the drones. We're good and everything else. It does get a bit hairy, but I enjoy it. That's what I play the game for. That's why I'm doing it in a Gila rather than in Matengu that will absolutely do it in with ease. I put the Tengu fit as well in one of my videos, guys. It's on the Tengu level four mission video. I've put the fit in there. Uh, excuse me. I've actually changed the uh, Tech 2 heavy assault missile launchers to Kaldari heavy assault missile launchers. So the price of the ship has actually gone up from that. But you can still use Tech 2, no problem. The only thing with the Caldera one, you actually get more uh, more missiles in the cartridge, you know, in the launcher. And it is slightly quicker. Not that you need it, Christ. Uh, Anita's got perfect missile skills, so she's, she's launching missiles every three seconds. Right, let's bring those buggers back. Yeah, so that's her... Uh, when she decides to there you go now I've, implants wise I've just got uh, plus fours I think those are yeah so I've just got plus fours in there but these are all for missiles um, and that's the booster I've just I've just uh, put on the temporary one uh, skill points total skill points 138 so she's nearly at 140 million now but, um, yeah, they back in, so let's warp. Yeah, we still haven't finished it yet. But it's her skills that give her... I mean, if you find the fit, you won't be... You know, if you, if you can't... If you run out of CPU or run out of power grid, then it's down to his skills rather than implants because she doesn't really have implants for... For those things. Right, I'm going to have to take these out here first. Let's just all of it. Let's drop my drones. Two little ones. I'll put them on the little ones. No, no, go for the little ones. So we'll get respawns in this one, guys. Better start boosting. Little ones are dead. There you go. Another spawn. I'll get that one and that one. I'll put the little ones on the... Uh, on the webby fire. I think this is the last room, isn't it? I think. Okay, they're dead. So we need to uh, kill that fifth, fifth eliminator. I'll let him just kill him, and they can go to him, and I'll just finish that one off. So I'll probably lose lock in a minute. little things but they cause some damage gonna reload that they're not really causing much damage dead I'll put 
put them on him on the next one bye bye big boy do like the uh, well I suppose you'd call that the um, Kaldari Navy or whatever or Navy issue Raven what are the grist oh no they're uh, yeah they are gristers aren't they I don't remember what they call it. Come on, drones. I love it. I love the damage, the uh, medium drones. And it's only for medium medium drones, the damage, the, bon the, the bonus that the ship gets is just for medium drones. So you can't put any drone on. I was thinking, ooh, when I first saw them, I thought, ooh, I'll put, um, I'll have heavies on, it'll be, wow. No, just mediums. <laughs> Damn. It's a good, it's a cool looking ship as well, the Gila. I used to fly a lot. I used to fly them a lot in the uh, in the Alliance. But we had quite a few ships, so doctrines we had to have. I think when I sold my ships, I think I had about 10 billion isk worth of ships. Just subcaps, no, not the capital ships. Um, just my subcaps. Just crazy, because you have to have doctrine for everything and you have to have it if you don't they know about it and you get a bollocking old shines bless him good fc he's still there still running the alliance good fc good man if you're thinking of joining alliance guys a null sec alliance go for the initiative i was in um i was in um, in uh, I keep wanting to say Terrorhawks oh my god that's my old corp let's have a look at my history shall we Thundercats my god I couldn't think for a second then I was in Terror uh, Thundercats for quite a while uh, and I'll go back if I go back it will, obviously I'll join Thundercats again because they're good lads a lot of German lads, but there's quite a few English lads. A few other nations, but brilliant. They'll do anything for you. They'll help you. They'll help you out. When I first joined, uh, Kinky Winky was one of them, and he I gave me a carrier to just to play with, just to rat with. Bless him. Yeah, he gave me a carrier. It was a Caldari carrier. Sharon. No. Chimera. Sharon's the hauler that I've got. The Chimera. Brilliant. So you go ratting with carriers and not battleships or Tengus. But I actually eventually just used to rat in the Tengu. And I'd have Fozzy waiting if, a, if an officer spawn came along because I needed the two to kill an officer. Well, it depends who the officer is. If it was Cormac, which is the big one, I needed two. If it was the others, I could kill them on, on my own with uh, with the Nita and the Tango. Their DPS is awesome. Yeah, about 1,300 DPS. Come on, boys. We are going. Still haven't finished it. So there's a low Moria. So we're going to go right. Yeah, whatever. We're going to go right. I'm going to drop the drones. Let's get these blocked up. We'll go around the back of these. I'll let those two get the lights. I 
not too fussed about these. I'll just go around the back of these. Some more lights. Need to get rid of them. Let's lock these up. Let's get the drones on these. So we'll finish this little group off first. Lights will come to me anyway, so I'll put the drones on them when they're when they're in range. He's just in range now. I'll put the drones on him now. I'll put my missiles on him. Drones. Hmm, no, I'll bring them back. We'll get rid of these. And then we'll uh, we'll burn over there. A module has run out of charges. Of course you have, because you're rubbish. Twenty one. God. <clears throat> the Tengu holds 71 heavy assault missiles in each one. Used to be 66 on Tech 2. But those Caldari Navy ones hold 71, uh, 71 missiles. Ooh, I can just reach that one. Just. I'm going to come about. They can finish off him. And they can finish off him. Yeah, this scorpion's just hitting him, hitting her a bit hard, but a bit, he'll be dead in a minute. I'll put some missiles on him. And we'll get these killed as well, because they'll slow her down. You're gonna die, big boy. Yep, he just didn't know it. We'll tear that one out. Who's jamming me, you little spines? Okay, put the drones on him before I lose lock. So I'm going to go over this 
this direction, keep the transversal up. <coughs> no, it's not in range. Take that one out. Sweet. Now we've got a few more uh, spawn now. So we need to start killing these PDQ. They're over there. Okay, so we'll work our way back and round. So, yeah, round the back of this lot. They're at a nice distance. Look at that. Drones even split to kill two. You gotta love them. Kill that last one. Where's he out of range? Swine. A module has run out of charges. Seventy one. Right, let's get him on one. Nearly in range. So I've got nearly all the aggro. Let's get the drones on that last one. I'll keep him at range. Get those two little ones. I'm going to overload this slightly just to bring it down. Because we are getting some uh, serious hits now. Silly me. Okay, let's put the drones on the close ones. Just really giving me some a little bit of time just to get away from them. <coughs> it's just allowed me to catch up on the boosting. Okay. Remind me, I need some repair paste. God damn it. <laughs> ah, it's just out of range for the uh, missiles. Yeah, so I'm just going to take him this way just to get away from a few. I got a little bit hairy then. Come on, boys. They won't let me down. Out of range. So let's turn left in that direction. Slowly but surely killing them. We're just hanging on. Yes, yeah, it's 50 50. 
We'll kill a few more and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll break them. Uh, oh, no, it's not in range. Yeah, we'll break that uh, DPS. We'll be able to cope with that. So these are little buggers. <laughs> Tiny little things, but boy, do they hurt. Tiny little things. Mm. I love it. Do like my drones. Come on, let's let's get a few more kill, boys. I might I might have to play around with some uh, implants just to see if I can get this cap stable. You know, and run both, run the AA. Uh, like on the Tengu, again, that is cap stable, running the. And I've got a large armor, a large shield booster on there, and a, um, it's a Federation afterburner, and it's cap stable. So you literally just. You don't even need to. You put them on when you go into the mission, and that's it. Your booster, you can just leave it on all the time. Crazy, I know. 7.2 million. Now that would be about 11 million in the Tango. That just go to show how slower it is. Even though this is more fun for me. It's not always about the money. Well, it is, but... <laughs> no, it's about having fun, though, you know. Uh, earlier on it was getting a bit sticky but hey, as long as you kill small ones first you've not got any problems when you look at the amount of DPS this ship is getting this damage it's getting pounded and if your skills aren't really any any decent level you're not going to be able to do it oops let's put the drones on him that's the big boy it's only worth 993,000. You'd think... You'd think he'd drop faction loot and you'd think he'd be worth about 2 or 3 million. But no. 993,000. Whoopee. Crazy. Turn the booster off for a bit, guys. Just let them do their stuff. And now I'm going to turn the left again towards Amon Kuzni. I'll have to excuse that pronunciation if it's nothing like. Need to get in range for these big boys, but we've not really any, we're not in any rush now. easy to kill. Oh, let's have a look. We might have done it. Yeah, we've finished it anyway. So I could pull the drones in now. We've killed him. The main thing was killing him. But 
a large it says uh, destroying a large portion of the forces so I'll tell you what we'll pull the drones in let's pull the boys in let's align to a mocker's gate We'll go, we'll go home and see if we can get see what other mission we can get. <clears throat> I mean that's a tough mission, that's uh eight thousand loyalty points, so that is a tough mission. One of the one of the toughest um since they've watered them down. I mean they've watered them down a lot. I mean worlds collide. You couldn't do that on your own, you had to have mates with you, corpus with you. And they were repping you. You had like two lodgy ships with you, and you were doing all the DPS. But now you know, I can do that with my eyes closed. It's crazy. Drive I think I've got some. Uh, I've got some repair paste. Oh, excuse me, I'm just moving the mic. So which is the best position for it? Still playing around with it. So tell me what you think to, uh, to uh, that mission, guys, and the ship. I might do another. Depends what mission we get. I might do another in the Gila. If we get a Nomic team, then it's the Gamma. Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? Stop, stop. Let's dock up. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Let's wrap her first. Let me get some. Have I got some base? I oh, yeah. have. I'll put all that in. Uh, okay. So we completed the mission, let's have our money, thank you very much, and our loyalty points, I've got now 374,000 loyalty points, I did spend 300,000 loyalty points as well, on uh, things like those uh, Kaldara Navy um, heavy assault launchers, right, so she's all repaired, I've put some stuff in there, let's have a look at the next mission, Rogue Drone, okay, destroy the rogue drones and they're import back to your agent so if you're ever unsure on how you need to or what tank you need um, you know if you've got a passive tank then <clears throat> I think I've shown you this before guys have a look let me show you the mission reports and that's the mission of Rogue Drone Harassment. There we go. Rogue Drone Harassment. Tells you all your missions, what levels, whatever you're doing. Excuse me. There you go. Rogue Drone Harassment, level four. And it'll tell you best damage to deal is EM and Thermal. Well, I can do that with the... Um, With the oh, oh geez, I'll have to take some drones out of another ship. So your damage to resist is explosive, kinetic, and thermal. Kind of an omni tank. Anyway, let's have a look. I'm gonna accept it anyway. Let's have a look at this tank. I'll have a look at this tank. If I can do a um, Slightly better job. Still got, I use a lot of these. <laughs> the pith type. Um, really good. So let's take those out. And it's explosive. Pith type, explosive. Got to keep your eye on your uh, capacitor, of course. Um, what was it? No, it's EM and thermal. Let's go EM and Thermal as well. 
So it was explosive fume and thermal. So, jeez. Let's simulate that. So it's knocking your resists up, but your capacitor depletes in two minutes and 52. So let's see if it's, what's it like? 354 with no, with just with the booster on. If I turn the booster off, it's stable, but if I put the afterburner on, okay, it's still stable. So that may work. I think we should try it. I think we should try that. So we'll try it in the Gila. Yeah. We'll try it in the Gila. Um, it's uh, in Archeo. Okay, Archeo. Destroy all rogue drones and report back. I think I know what this one is. Is there the one where you... You first hit the mother... The mother of all the drones. She spawns first. And you're going to make your way to a gate. I think it is. Anyway. Let's go. Warp drive active. Oh, let's just have a look at my missile status. We might have enough for this mission. Warp drive active. So let's bang those on. So with those on it, does it deplete in? Two minutes fifty-two. That's not good. Mm, that's not good. Well, we'll see. We'll see how we go. Why has that gone to 252 now? That's shocking. Why wasn't I looking at that? See how we go with this. Drive active. I'm gonna just have to keep them at uh, keep them at range. <laughs> and I didn't get any drones either. Oh my god. I was going to nick some uh, explosive drones, but hey. <laughs> Let's just see what what an abomination we make of this. <laughs> oh God! I can see it. Yeah, it is this one. It's the mother. Gonna get a little bit closer to it. You start attacking her and then all the rest spawn. Drones engaging. Okay. I'm just going to go down a bit. I don't want to get stuck in these rocks if I have to uh, warp out quickly. Ah, so they start spawning in in a minute. We'll 
we'll see what damage they do. Get the lights taken care of. Next one. Who's scramming me? That one. <laughs> okay, the damage. Another one, he's gone. There's another th two there. I'm just going to let the drones do their stuff. I'll just concentrate on the little ones. the gate but underneath well it's um, it's not as bad as I thought it would be Sorry, gonna keep an eye on that booster. Smack my mic. Sorry, guys. Yeah, cap does go on quick though. Yeah, I'd be better off using those uh, build extenders. it would be all right, I think, for this mission. Just gotta watch your cap on this. I'll swap those back out. I prefer those field extenders. Um, I could always. The thing is, you've got to look at the whole fit, and you can't just swap those three out for three of those. You know, there's other things you have to do, and that's why I do like the fit. I do like the um, fitting tool where you can. Uh, go into a simulation and just play around with the with the um, with the mods, with the tools, and the and the um, and the fit. It's never used to have that, guys. I used to oh, used to mess around, buy the bits, put them on. They were wrong. Oh God! Then resell them. And that was in the early days. Not anymore. I'm going to orbit this gate at 1,000. Who is stopping that now? This tiny little thing. Boom. That's going to hurt. Okay. Let's bring them in. Let's reload that. <laughs> yeah, 
because it eats the cap up a lot more. I suppose you could put some implants in for your cap. Again, it's just playing around in it with a fitting tool. Right, let's. Uh... Warp drive active. Let's get the hell out of here. Skirts. Drop the drones, see if they get the aggro. Use them as uh, meat shields. <laughs> Off you go, boys. I don't think they're getting hit. Boost the shield. Uh, action dummy, look at that hole. Good grief. My drone's done that. <laughs> you gotta love them. <laughs> I think you had that already. <laughs> I like that. I do like that. Uh, he gotta go pop. How can it be functioning with two huge holes in it? In the hole like that. Look at that, it's ranked. How are you still operating? You're dead now. <laughs> uh, turn that boost off. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Just these two to kill. Might be another spawn, but I don't think so. I'm gonna go back the way I came. Dead, he just doesn't realize, just doesn't realize it. Nice, they've got holes all over them, haven't they? Unless there's another spawn. You never know. Where's the kill marks? I've got no kill marks on this ship. You have kill marks, you know, when you're in the alliance or you're in a call and you've killed PvP, you've PvP'd and killed some players. With the same ship, you get kill marks on the ship. Every kill. I think I had 13 on one, one of my gears before it died. Boom. Drones in. Uh, 
and that should say rogue drone harassment objectives complete so let's go home drive active oh come on guys I've called you back I love it when the uh, the ends of the wings curl in. Here you go, look. And he's off in warp. Yeah, it's one of my favourite ships. Do love the look of it. I wish it was more lethal and more more of a tank. You imagine this ship with uh, with uh, OP OP tank, OP damage. <laughs> Yeah, one of my favourites. Right, let's go to a mucker. Drive active. That's where I live, the mucker. Uh, I do missions from there, I do mining there. I haven't done any mining though for a, quite a while. And you normally do it with the, like you said, with the Orca and two Hulks. Um. Just flatten a few belts, but it is mind numbing if you're doing it day after day, but I don't. Um, bad enough doing missions, well, not missions, but I can't do many missions. I do three or four. If I'm in a good mood, I can probably do missions all day and just about stand it, but there's only so much you can do. Um, and then you're like, oh. And okay. then I'll go and play Daisy or something like that. I do like my Daisy. I don't know if you guys play it, but um, I play on one that is called, the server's called um, First In Line, I think. Is it? I think so. Let's have a look. Have a look. No, last in line. Stupid. La last in line. And uh, there's not many. It gets up to about maybe 20 on the server. But it's good fun, but my God. It's just... You, you don't want for anything on there. It's just crazy. You know, you, you die and you spawn with weapons. and So it's, it's an easy way of running around and having some fun. If you like the survival ones where you literally are scrabbling on the floor just for a pair of shoes, then there are servers like that. Your vanillas, but um, depends what you want. I, like I say, I've got 6,000 hours on Daisy. But, uh, well, over that now. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for joining me on this live uh, stream for the Gila doing level fours. It was a bit hairy at one point, but uh, I enjoy it. So thanks very much, guys. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. And I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.